Today I want to show you how to make a cool, functional and 3D printed UV queuing chamber. Of course I designed this chamber on my own. I used Fusion 360 and it took me around 20 to 25 minutes to make this model. You can see all the details in the build process. Here you can see the final chamber and now we're gonna 3D print that and start finishing it. Here are all the parts you need for the UV chamber. We've got some mirror foil, we've got a solar powered Lazy Susan, I think it's called Lazy Susan. Um, we've got a magnet, uh, three screws for the hinge, we've got uh, the UV LED strip with the power adapter and of course we have this huge printed chamber where, yeah, as said, um, this thing is quite huge and it failed, so I had to print the door three times to make it happen. And also the main chamber did fail, that's why I reprinted the top part and will glue this on to make it complete. Part of the reason why this failed is because I use very low infill on the walls because I wanted to save some filament which is of course stupid if it fails and the top layer started to cringe up or uh, curl up because of missing support in the middle and then the whole box on the print surface got moved and well then I stopped the print because I couldn't save it and reprinted the frame so I think it will work it will be not as pretty as I want it to be, but it's not meant to be pretty, it's meant to be useful. So we're gonna sand the top surface and the back surface of this part. Luckily there will be a screw right here, so this side is clamped down anyway. And here we will add some two component glue to make it really really sturdy. I applied a heavy weight so the glue can dry and both pieces have proper contact to each other. After the glue has dried, I of course had to remove the excess glue with an exacto knife, then I sanded the whole part again and started filling all the seam lines with some putty. I'm laying out the, the mirror foil and the foil happens to be 40 and the inner dimension in one uh, direction is 20 so I just need to make a middle cut but before that I'm gonna cut it to the right length for the top and the bottom piece. Now that the mirror has been cut, I will just sand it roughly and then paint the box and start assembling. The first coat was a glossy black spray paint, then I added some silver to make it look more like metal or steel. After the paint is dried, I started weathering the paint. I wanted to make it look very rusty, a bit like something from the Fallout universe. I used acrylic colors like black, orange, red and yellow 
and thinned them with water. After that, I applied them with brushes in several layers and also used some paper towels to spread the colors. Of course, I have done the same with the whole chamber and finally could start gluing in the mirror foil. And the next one. It's pretty shiny already. And here comes the surprise. So shiny! I'm now gonna peel off the backing of the LED strip and just make some crazy loops in here because I think it doesn't really matter as long as the UV strips sticks to the mirror foil. And that's the moment you discover that it's actually not working because I forgot the chamfer on this side, so it cannot rotate around the hole. I will need to cut it up. After cutting and filling, I just needed to sand the area and could start to hide my crimes with some paint. When the paint dried, I screwed in the M4 by 30 mm screws and glued in the magnet and the chamber was complete. The door is held in place by magnets. The UV chambers are the dimensions in X, Y and Z are 200 by 230 by 240 mm and the inner dimensions are 170 by 194 by 220 mm. The Lazy Susan is about 5 cm high, so you are left effectively with 170 mm in C direction. This should be plenty enough for the most common build sizes of DLB printers. You can switch on and off the UV light with a switch and the Lazy Susan is powered by tiny solar panels, so it does not need any external power source. If you are interested in building the chamber on your own, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Then I will upload the modified files. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel if you like this build. Thank you for watching this video. Now you can watch the Benchy spin until the end of the video. Have a nice day and goodbye.